the biggest south asian media group why media why media why media has newspaper midweek radio south asian pulse television you are watching channel why channel why a south asian canadian channel online southasiandaily.com the biggest south asian media group why media you are watching channel y channel y a south asian canadian channel वेलकम टू चैनल वाई एम यू होस्ट युधिर जसवाल चैनल वाई देख रहे सारे दर्शकों का युधिर जसवाल वालों स्वागत है वी ऑल नो दैट ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री इज अ ह्यूज इंडस्ट्री एज फार एज कैनेडा इज कंसर्न बट मेनी फ्यू ऑफ यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट देर इज अ मेजर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच बेसिकली गवर्न ऑल द ऑयल इंडस्ट्री ओवर हेयर इन कैनेडा कैप एंड विच हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू प्ले इन द इकोनॉमी इट हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू Uh, play in the creating the jobs and recently we've heard a lot about the keystone xl pipeline we heard about the energy east pipelines there's a lot of discussion always so definitely we'll uh, like to discuss a lot more about this and to discuss this we have the ceo and president of cam tim mcmillan with us tim welcome to channel y how are you very good thank you for having me you're very welcome uh, tim you know many of our viewers they certainly know about the oil and gas industry the impact that they have and you know it on the day to day basis but tell us little bit more about your organi organization cap sure well we represent the upstream producers those that are producing oil and natural gas in canada in canada we have very diverse resources from the east coast uh, off newfoundland we have offshore oil off nova scotia we have offshore natural gas big platforms out in the ocean Um in Western Canada we have production in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta and British Columbia ranging from conventional natural gas to uh, hydraulic fractured uh, non-conventionals to oil sands. Uh Canada has the world's third largest resources of oil in the world after Venezuela and Saudi Arabia. And on the natural gas side we have uh we're the world's fifth largest producer and we have about 300 years of supply right under our feet. Wow that's amazing good to hear that so uh, now in terms of gdp contribution and in terms of uh, jobs how important is this industry uh, it's one of the most important industries in canada we're the largest investor in the canadian economy in 2014 we invested 81 billion dollars that was more than the next two or three industries combined uh that's pulled back in the last couple of years because of the price of oil and gas has fallen This year we expect it to be about 44 billion dollars. So again, by far the biggest investor in the Canadian economy. Yeah. We hire about half a million Canadians and uh, we contribute about 16 billion dollars to governments across the country to taxes and royalties for schools and hospitals and the social programs we all enjoy. Yeah, half a billion jobs uh, on an annual basis. Uh, we all know that yes, uh, the un unemployment numbers. I mean, ten thousand here or twenty thousand here and there. It makes a lot of difference. The recent numbers that we've all witnessed is around six point eight percent. That's unemployment. Though we were like, we got lucky. We created uh, around forty four thousand jobs uh, uh, last month. But important point is that you know this is a, such an important industry. And from the last couple of years, because the yeah. oil price crash, we had some issues. So investment might be low. Economy, jobs, job creation. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, we since 2014 we saw about 100,000 of our half a million it went from half a million to 400,000 uh people employed in the upstream oil and gas industry. 
With the investment coming back in this year, um, going from about 31 billion to 44 billion, we're going to see some of those jobs come back. Um, the volume of our production has actually increased over the last few years on oil and then held relatively consistent on gas. Oil and gas make up the largest exports from Canada. Um, about 20% uh, of our exports in 2014 were oil and gas going to the United States. Yeah. I remember last time when we met, uh, you were at the speaker series at the Canada India Foundation, and uh, it was so, uh, you know, enlightening to listen to all those stuff mm -hmm. about the industry. But I'm, uh, at that time, you were discussing um, that yes, how important the, uh, the energy pipelines or the Keystone XL pipeline is for economy. And the yes. good news is that yes, uh, our Prime Minister has given go ahead uh, to that. And yes, the encouraging news is from US also. We might get support. Your yeah, thoughts? Absolutely. Uh, pipelines are crucial to our success, as is LNG facilities. Canada, we have world-class resources, but we only have one customer, the United States. Uh, the Prime Minister and the Government of Canada has approved the uh, access to the West Coast for Kinder Morgan's project, which can get Canadian oil offshore. Uh, they've approved the LNG facility on the North Coast uh, of British Columbia and another one on the South Coast to get our natural gas offshore. Um, and we are working through the process on Energy East, which can connect Canadians to their own resources. Today in Ontario, Quebec and Eastern Canada, we're importing 60% of the oil that we're putting in our cars and airplanes from Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, some from Venezuela, some from the United States. Um, I think Canadians would like to have access to their own crude oil. And if we can get Energy East completed, it gives us that Eastern access to the ocean as well, where we could potentially be supplying India and other countries that are closer to the East Coast of Canada. Yeah. How important is that, you know, supplying uh, oil to the offshore countries? I know uh, India, I just read a report yesterday by a think tank in states. No doubt they said that uh, the Chinese economy could be sluggish a little bit. Still, you know, 6% six, six GDP growth is not uh, less. India for the next uh, five years, they're saying 7 7.5% or even 8% India, though yeah. India claiming. So how important is for us to, you know, get engaged with them? Yeah, I India is where the future is when it comes to energy. Um, we can see their economy growing. I think most think tanks and the International Energy Agency are predicting that India will be the largest consumer of crude oil uh, in the next 25 years. They will surpass China and they will surpass the United States as their economy continues to grow. Right. So, so, so what are we doing for that? Where, what are our plans in place? And what do you expect from the government as well? Um, well, Energy East is the big link. Okay. If we can get Energy East, which can connect Canada's resources from Western Canada, uh, routed through and supplying Western, Eastern Canadians with our own products, it will also connect us to that deep water port on the East Coast, where we can be the supplier of choice for India. And as they look at where they want to source their oil from, where better than Canada? Today, they're getting it from the Middle East, from Saudi Arabia, from Iraq. Um, I think that Canada has a far better uh, proposition. Our environmental standards, uh, our security, our safety, um, the economic benefits uh, for our country, but also the environmental impacts globally that Canada um, contributes when we we produce the Canadian way, which is different and superior to other suppliers. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure US would be more excited because India also buys a lot of uh, oil from Iran. Yes. And despite all the all the sanctions, they still carried on doing that. So on, on the political front, I'm sure um, recently three or four of our cabinet ministers, they went to India and uh, they, they've met uh, the industry minister, uh, Nirmala Sitaraman as well. So do you think our government, Canada, is supporting you in connecting more with India? I'm sure our prime minister, Justin Trudeau, I just, um, they haven't finalized the date, but I'm sure he's also going to visit India. So is the government supporting you in connect connection? Yeah, having that political leadership uh, right. connecting, those, those visits are fundamental to building those relationships. And to, for, I think it's important for us to be showing our partners in India that we're serious. Yes, and sir. it's important for Indian um, government officials to be saying, this is our growth profile. This is why we want Canada to be one of our suppliers. That, that works both directions. And I heard back from that trip that our politicians went on, uh, that there was a very clear message that their, India's economy is growing. They want access to Canadian products. They want access to natural gas as they are putting more electricity into homes in India. To have a natural gas alternative instead of just coal, um, it really improves air quality and has a lot of environmental benefits. So 
I think it's good for both countries to have that uh, political leadership connected. Okay, and uh, I also heard recently, you know, uh, the advisory council, the 14-member council to our uh, finance minister, Bill Morno, they clearly advised that as much as we want to strengthen our relationship with the U.S., but the 14-member council had a clear message for our finance minister that we should start connecting with the Asian giants. And I think energy and oil sector has a very important role to play in connecting with Asian giants like Japan, China, and in particularly India. Your comments yeah, on that. Absolutely. Uh, oil and gas are the Canada's largest exports, and we have one customer today. Um, that customer has now changed governments, and there's a new administration which are looking at different, uh, different policies, some that may be advantageous to Canada and some that may not be. But this is a time where I think we need to reflect on, is it better to have more options than less? I think it is. And policies will change with our largest trading partner south of the border. And we are a more secure country if we have optionality east, west, and south. Right. And one quick question regarding the South Asian community. Uh, I know our community has been very supportive and especially the Indo-Canadian community. They want uh, the Canada and India relationship to grow the current bilateral trade. They're focusing yep. on 15 billion. That's the target. It's somewhere around eight and a half billion dollars. Yep. So what would you expect from the South Asian community or in particular the Indo-Canadian community that how they can support uh, the oil industry? You know, the oil and gas industry is very focused in different regions in Canada and uh, Ontario isn't a place where we do a lot of production. So we have a role as an industry to be reaching out to, to different communities, to the South Asian community and talking about how we do business. Um, we're running ad campaigns about raise your hand if you're proud of the way Canada um, produces energy. So I would ask the East Asian community, look at our website, um, the CAPS website or the Canadian Energy Citizen website. If you like what you see, if you're supportive of how Canada's oil and gas industry operates, you know, sign up, become part of that uh, energy network. Um, having support from across Canada is crucial to our ability to continue to operate in a positive way. I think anything which is supporting GDP today, anything which is supporting jobs today, yeah. I, I usually discuss that, you know, the foreign policy, if there is one word which dictates foreign policy today, that is trade, that's jobs, that's economy. Yeah. So I'm sure that our community would like to uh, support you more and more. Uh, Tim, my final question would be that uh, what are your expectations from the Canadian government moving forward with the new administration in U.S.? And certainly, uh, it will be the first time when our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau would be meeting the Indian Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi as well. You know, I, I think as, as we expect of all of our political leaders is to understand what contribution Canada can make on a global stage. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the largest impacts we can make on that global stage is our ability to supply energy and better lives around the world with our exports, with our energy exports. And uh, championing our oil and gas industry is really championing Canadian industry in general. So um, we're here to help those governments um, get the message they need to share broadly. And, and uh, we're glad to see that they're reaching out broadly right now. Okay. Tim, thank you very much for your time. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Hope you've enjoyed today's discussion. We'll certainly bring back uh, Tim for more uh, discussions on the oil and industry. Keep watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Call Rogers or Bell today and subscribe to Channel Y. Channel Y. For more information, visit SouthAsiaDaily.com. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel.